we are here, Festival of the Holidays. Look at how awesome. First things first, you gotta get your passport. Need our passport because we're actually gonna try to get all the stickers to get the cookies. Cookie stroll. All the punches. So we did the Christmas tree stroll at Disney Springs, so now we gotta finish the cookie stroll. And, and by the way, we are at Epcot. We are at Epcot. <laughs> Festival so. of the Holidays. Yeah, so it actually opened up Friday, but we were blacked out. But we are here today, so let's head on in and see what we can find. So we could say we're here on opening day of not being blacked out. Yep, so give Monday. us a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Let's go. This all looks amazing. Look at that. All right, our first stop. No Chibuena Cocina. No Che Buena Cocina. <laughs> all right, well, that was the best I could do. But we're, we may try one of these. I'm not sure. Tamale with uh, plant-based chorizo or mojo pork. But definitely getting the cookie because we're trying to get them all. Okay. Thank you. First stamp of the day. Awesome. First stamp. Okay, we have our first offerings here. So we have the pernil, which is a mojo pork with tostones and ketchup mayonnaise. We have the spiced cookie. And then we also went ahead and got the 81 Bay Brewing Co. And this is at the Noche Buena Cocina. There's a lot of hard stuff to say there, but nailed I think it. you nailed it. So I did get into this a little bit. I gotta say the pork and the um, looks like a verde sauce is very, very good. It has very good flavor. Yeah, the bottom is kind of like a I think Andrea said it's like yeah, really so a plantain. Yeah, so I looked up uh, the tostones or tostones are twice fried plantain slices. Cool. So interesting. Very flavorful. Yeah, but I like it. The ketchup mayonnaise is also very interesting. I don't really get a ketchupy taste to it, and it's not like a heavy mayonnaise flavor. So. It's not a bad item. Yeah, I the like meat it. itself, um, as Andy was saying, it's good, but not sh quite sure on the plantain base. <laughs> yeah, I would get it again just to, for the topping. Very good. It even it smells good. So I think this is the spice cookie, spice chocolate cookie. Oh, that's. So this one's really good. I like like that uh, this style of the cookie with icing. So it's very good. It's not real heavy sweet. Oh no, it's decently sweet. Well, that's a good one. All right. Hmm. Actually, it says cookie chocolate crinkle chocolate. I don't know. All right, I actually like it for being chocolate. To me, what I can compare it to is those iced oatmeal cookies. Oh yeah. That you get from the grocery store. I guess that's the spice part of it, but the then it more... also has that uh, layer of kind of crisp icing. That is what it tastes like, what you just said, but better because you have the chocolate and yeah, this is a better cookie. Yeah. So, so far our first cookie is a winner. Yeah. And we did enjoy <laughs> the uh, mojo pork, but we did not care for the base that it sat on of the twice fried plantain, but the meat and potatoes part was good. 
Yeah, just a regular tostada shell would have been better, but yeah, so far so good. Here we go, look at this. So it's funny, I know I always say Hollywood Studio, but it al almost th seems like it's whatever park you're in has the best tree. But look at that. That's a pretty good looking tree. Isn't it? So you have the tree on this side, and then this side, you have Spaceship Earth happening. So, just very nice. Ooh. All right, might be one of the biggest trees. I don't know, Hollywood Studios is pretty big. Oh, it's got the hundredth ornaments on it. I can see those. The big reveal. That is a tree right there. But seriously, look at these clear hundredth or Disney hundredth ornaments. Those are cool. Those Let's are. See if I could zoom in on one of these ornaments. Yeah. Yep, that is amazing. Me or the tree? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, look at this tree. Okay, so. They have a show here, Joyful Celebration of the Season, last showing 4.30. So no show, but look at how cool this looks. Wow. Look at those trees. Oh, they just go all out here, I'm telling you. And now watch this. If you turn around, you have the moon back there, but then the tree and Spaceship Earth. Now that is a sight. <laughs> That's just lovely. Kind of looks like a moonrise or something. A lot of lights happening here. It looks very, very lovely. This is La Cantina. Love it. It's busy here for a Monday night. All right, we may have to try this. Refreshment Outpost. They have a peanut stew. That sounds interesting. Sweet potatoes, roasted peanuts. And then they also have a gingerbread white stout. All right. Okay, we have peanut stew that has peanuts and uh, sweet potatoes and all kinds of good things. Look at that. And then it's a gingerbread white stout. So this I can already tell you. Heavy ginger, it's good. And this smells like heavy peanuts, so I think we should like it. Yeah. Oh, we have rice on the bottom. All right, this should be nice, hearty, and warm on a cold day. Some of us dressed accordingly. I had a I warmer left layer. I my lounge fly yeah. at home, and it had Andy's had, flannel shirt. Yeah, I had a flannel shirt. Not bad. It's interesting. Ooh, ooh, it's got a little spice to it. A little kick to it? A little kick to it. So I think I mainly got sweet potato rice. And it's like, is it like a peanut butter curry? Because that's what it tastes like. Oh, maybe so. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, a good item. Heavy peanut sauce with whole peanuts and then rice and everything kind of works really well together. Yeah, it does have a kick to it. I'm feeling the heat now. Yeah. And you know, since I'm cold, it's appreciated actually. All right, well, the peanut stew was actually really good. Spicy. Yeah, it was spot. really spicy, but it was still really good that I kept eating it. I know. So. My mouth's a little on fire at the moment, but 
just kind of drove I really like the sweet potato oh, yeah. that was also in there. And then the whole peanuts to go with the peanut yeah. sauce. So Very good. don't pass up the outpost. This time, yeah, refreshment outpost. Our re All right, so we found the Holiday Kitchen, Bavaria. This one does have the Linzer cookie. It's like one of, the, one of the star cookies. Cheese fondue, so let's go try this, I think. All right, well, we have quite the spread here. We have the Linzor cookie, right? That's the one Andrea really I've wanted most. I've been waiting for that. Uh, we have a cheese fondue, and the crazy thing is, we thought it was just cheese in the bread bowl, but it's yeah, got like a, but it's like a pickle. That's, and yeah, and then we got potatoes. full carrots. We got potatoes, potatoes in here. Nice. Now, if you want a really comical thing, I'm gonna butcher all of these, but, uh, so, well, the one is an apple cider. Uh, that's this one. The middle one is the Tank Brewing Company Prost Feist Feist Beer. Feist Beer. Now the dark one looks really good to me, but there's no way I could ever say this. It's like, oh boy, Kostrister Schwarz Beer. Maybe I said Schwarz? it. Schwarz. Maybe I said it. You take a shot at that. <laughs> <laughs> Krost, Krostwippen, Schwarzbier. Krostritzmer, Schwarzbier. Schwarzbier. I don't know, here it is. All right, the cider. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I like the name of this beer. Something about Prost. Prost, Feist. Ooh, the cheese is soft. Oh, that one's good. And then the last one, the Kretzspritzer Schwarzbier. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. So this is a good, is it a beer cheese? It's got to be, uh, right? We're in Germany. You would think. Well, it tastes like a beer cheese to me. The bread is soft, and it goes lovely with the cheese, so you can hit, right, watch the cheeses on the top the there. Mmm. That's good. Okay, so this fondue is super good. All three of these are good. We haven't even got the cookie, that's last. So we actually figured out the best way For our to bread eat bowl, it. the best way. Yeah, just pick it up like a football. Mmm. Or for. <laughs> oh, it's uh oh I think I broke so it. So is that like the, the little middle. raspberry on the inside? Yeah, I think so. Uh, is it all you'd hoped? So the cookie actually the cookie part actually tastes different than I thought it was gonna be. But it's not bad, I like it. And, whoop, and I do like the jelly filled in there. So I do oh, think it's going to knock the Noche Buena uh, chocolate cookie, Spiced cookie out of first. So we'll put this up in the first for now. All right, I'll give it a quick try. Okay. Andrea is right. It does knock the other one into second place, so that's a really good cookie. Mm -hmm. The little raspberry filling makes it. Yeah, it's not an overpowering raspberry. It's a very subtle berry. Showing a little quick shot of Germany. It's pretty decked out. Look at this. They don't have our music at the moment. Whoa, check this out. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it smells oh, awesome it smells in here. Really you good smell in there. that? Uh, Are you talking about. Werther's popcorn. Yeah. Werther's yeah, popcorn. Yeah, that's it. Wow. All right, Germany did well. It looks very nice in here.
see how well this comes out, but there's Spaceship Earth and the giant Christmas tree and all the reflections on the water. So that looks tremendous. Looks like it's in focus. See how this comes out, but yeah, we're getting the little reflection tree kind of like, whoops, kind of like at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> Yeah, but it's 60 degrees, so it's... we're going to hop on in the connections and then we're going to check out Spaceship Earth. We haven't been on that in a while. It's been a long time and it sounds warm, <laughs> especially where they do the fire. Burning a room. <laughs> Andrea found a spirit I think jersey I like she it. likes. I think I like it too. That's cool. I really like the blue. It's got Remy's pigment. It's got Guardians, Mickey. Very lovely. More cookie holders, everybody. Cookie holder. Spaceship Earth. This time, I think we're going to try to ride it. <laughs> Instead of just record it. It's a five minute wait. It's been a while. Well, we just watched the new series of Behind the Attraction, so now it makes you, yeah. It got us into the mood to ride. We Spaceship watched the one for Epcot, so now we want to ride it. Okay, it's a five minute standby. We'll take it. Look at that. It was probably summer the last time we rode this. Yeah, it, I feel like it's almost been a year, maybe. Oh yeah, we're gonna walk right on. A literal walk on. <laughs> It's so warm in here. Okay, definitely a literal walk on. Walk right to it. English. Okay, so been a long time. I'm already warmer, I can tell you. Yep. Civil War over. Cinema signs all over. Cool. It's a full theater. <laughs> yeah, look at them all. I like how he's laying there with his little. Oh, with his Apollo mm -hmm. rocket. Yeah. There she is. Wow. Yeah, look at all the thousands of like hanging lights. Oh. They're building our future. Oh, and now I believe here your we go. Future is just about they have it. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, ah. your future. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so Spaceship Earth was fun. It was just what I needed to warm up. It was actually warm in there. And now we're back so, in the cold wind. We're back in the cold. <laughs> My flannel shirt is at home. Whoops. It wasn't supposed to be. 
<laughs> but, bad. So yeah, we had a very fun time today. Give us a thumbs up. We showed about half the, uh, maybe the one half of the park. We'll show the other half next time. Yeah, we will definitely be back and try. We got three more cookies to complete the stroll. <laughs> yeah. We got a lot more food. So thanks for coming all along. Give us a thumbs up. Definitely leave a comment. And we will see you next time. See ya. Thank you.